my first layer of beads on. Did I tell you that John managed to flood the whole flat? Oh, so me testing and playing because what you see how this one just Prototypes. doesn't. Prototypes, that's the word. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability Life. life. afternoon everybody is coming up for 20 past one in the afternoon it has been an eventful morning and it was an extraordinary eventful night last night um john flooded the whole flat and i'm not kidding you he flooded the whole flat he had water come into the lounge the bedroom the hallway it was everywhere to the was, point it was an inch and a half thick. I would say it was an inch and a half deep. I'd say it was probably deeper than that. It sounded like he was in a swimming pool as he was walking around. It was that deep. Um, so I have to rewrap all the presents that were under the Christmas tree, including there was two gifts under the Christmas tree that my mum gave me and John that we're supposed to open on Christmas Eve, um, which we plan to open on our Christmas Eve, not the normal Christmas Eve. Um, we're having Christmas on the 30th, so our Christmas Eve is going to be on the 29th. So I have to rewrap them without kind of looking what they are. I know what they are because she gives us pajamas every Christmas Eve. Um, so I've got to rewrap them without actually noticing what they are, like the style they are, sort of thing. So um, that should be interesting. Um, but I had to unwrap everything. Everything's been drying overnight because he managed to soak the presents. Uh, it doesn't seem too much damage was done. Huh? More cardboard got destroyed. Yeah, yeah, more cardboard than anything. And, um... The tree skirt is still soaking wet. Yeah, tree skirt, skirt. Tree skirt is still soaking wet. I'm all in my old clothing today because I'm going to do some arts and crafty stuff. Um, I'm still feeling a little rough, but not as bad as I did. But I need to sort this bag out it is soaking wet so and it's full of christmas crafty things so i've got to go through all that sort it all out um i'm hoping it's on the outer, outer bag as well i want to do i don't think what inside i hope so too but we will see so to start off with i've got to work out where to put you guys okay in that christmas bag i found a lot a lot of stuff that um I can take to Kim and the kids for our craft day. Um, stuff is also kind of very sensory as well. So it's all stuff that I was working on last year and used for things last year as well. So um, pine cones, for example, we found a lot of these pine cones in what forest was it? Um. In a forest somewhere. <laughs> we had gone to collect a gazebo that we needed for a craft fair that I was doing um, and we found the pine cones so I sat there last year painting them and I used them for something last year I think it was um, the reefs wasn't it the door reefs um, and then I kept them because these are really really strong pine cones but these will be great for the kids to play with um, and make things out of if they want to and I've got a bag of different types of leaves, berries, and um, ribbons. It was in that New Forest National Park, wasn't it? Yeah, that sounds right. New Forest National Park. A couple more um, pine cones. 
Then some bows that match the ribbons that I have. Some odd little bits and bobs. I've got some robins in there and some candy canes. And the end of the Christmas tree last year that I painted up, I was going to use for something I never did. I also found some clay leaves that I made last year. So I'm packing all this up so that it's there if the kids, or even if Kim wants to make something with them on our craft day. So more craft stuff for Kim and the kids for when we go up there. Let's see what we've got going on in here. This bag. Ah, uh, hat. Okay, so we've got Christmas hats in here. Okay, so in there is a special project for I need I want to make a very special elf who is a special and uh, as the kids basically and it's a little challenge project that I kind of half set myself but was set upon by others as well so it's these things if you remember I showed you these this is what I'm trying to put together and I've been waiting for the right the right thing a nice long piece of ribbon here I've got my beads and my bow. I've got all of these things. I've got my pin flare glue. I'm going to pop these aside a moment. Did you see what it was for yesterday? Did you? Did you? Well, this is where they were. If you were looking really closely when John first mentioned about being pulled over by the police yesterday, you would have seen sparkles and twinkles dangling from the ceiling. Although they were very blended in. We found them playing on their new little zip wire thing with their candy canes. They are super cute and quite the adventurous pair. Did you see them yesterday? So this bead and needle is like a really long thin thing. I don't know if you can see it. And it separates into two in the middle. In the middle, it separates the two. So it's kind of a bit, basically, a, a bit of wire folded in half, if you like. I decided which pairs I'm going to pair up because you need a Christmas one on each side. So I've decided which ones I want to pair up. Um, now I've got to decide which way I want to lay them. So I'm going to lay them that way. John bought me some other beads that are a little too small for this project, but I have another project for them. Um, okay, so down, so I've got the same design in the middle of each section there of the beads. Got all my beads set out how I want them. Um, now just to start threading them up. Okay, so I have put my first layer of beads on and now I'm going to put my very first piece of grey board covered in fabric on which is going to be this heart now this is probably this is one of the bigger layer of beads and there's going to be two sections like this right at the top the rest are going to be smaller layers of beads now this is a book binding glue So I'm just going to literally cover my um, thing here in glue in the book binding glue. With another brush, I'm taking off the ex excess glue because we don't overly need too much glue. I'm going to place this heart right up the top here and then I'm going to do the same with the other part of the heart Ah, you found it, them. Yeah, I knew it was a packet. Then 
Put the cupboard off to start open. I'm taking off the excess glue because you don't want overly too much. John's actually getting me some glue spatulas because it will take be easier for taking the excess glue off. Line them up. How many want? Uh, two different colours if you don't mind. And then just give them a gentle push down. Picking it off. Thank you, honey. Yes, sir. I'm all good. Thank you. Go and that will go rock solid, it will not come apart. I'm gonna get on with this. It looks like the camera's dirty again. It looks like a thumbprint, mister. I always make sure it's closed before I touch it there. If I, ever, if I do touch it there, you'll have to go and put the presents in the giving tree and pick up a few things, aren't you? Yes, I am. Okay, have fun. Always, I'm gonna have fun making a mess here for you to clean up later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now my plan is to do another layer like this before I put my first one of these on. one more of these and then the end piece so I'm gonna get on and do this after but first I need to pause because I need to take my meds Make sure you know where your needle is all the time, even though it's really thin. I thought it wasn't sharp, but it actually is really sharp, and I have already stuck this in my finger, and it hurt. Well, it actually didn't hurt. It would hurt somebody else. I personally was laughing. I have to come up with some technique to make it where I can see the needle, because I, can, I can't actually see the needle when it's laid down. I can't even see it in the needle when I'm holding it. It's that thin, I can't see it. I can feel it, but I can't see it. I keep stabbing myself, so. But I'm relying on the sense of touch and feel to know the needle's gone through. That was my finger, not the bead. I 
So again, as before, same technique. Glue on, get it all the way up to the corners, all the way up to the edge. Same with the second one. Glue on. Access off. So again, I'm going to change glue stick. You don't need to change glue stick. I'm doing it because it's just a different color shows you that I'm doing a different technique. So now I'm taking all the excess glue off. You can see all this extra glue that you really don't need. I just find it easier to spread with more glue plus I'm not rushed to get it stuck together quickly because the glue is drying. It's just a technique I learned myself um to put it on extra thick first because I found that it kept drying out really really quickly on me and then I'd have to use more and more glue just to keep fixing it so this technique allows me time to do what I need to do And I'm actually not wasting as much glue because I'm not having to re-glue things all the time. Okay, now remember these are our picture ones, so we want to make sure that the picture is facing the right way up. So I want Father Christmas facing that way up, but I need him upside down. So I want him there. I want to put the ribbon across the middle. So, and then, as before, just to help it bind, I'm going to grab a little bit of the binding glue. and add it to the ribbon like so and grabbing your other side make sure your picture is facing that way the way you're working away from line it up and push down And then move on to your next layer of beads.
Okay, I'm gonna leave this. Okay, I'm gonna leave this to dry now because just gonna need a little bit of time to dry. Not the um, board bits, they're actually dry. It's the actual end bit that needs to dry. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so. Wait a minute. I got, okay. I got you on the octopus at the moment, and so I need to get in a way I can hold it. Ooh! Why are you not tight there? Okay, sorry, guys. Um, so we got our beads at the top here. Um, remember I said I glued the top bead to the ribbon? That's already dried. That's that's fine. And it dried totally clear. Excuse the glue on my fingers. Totally clear, so that's fine. This bit's already dried as well. These go rock solid. Um, this one's dried too. They dry really, really quickly. That's why we take the access off. If you don't take the access off, they actually will never dry. Um, I've got to do this quick because I'm running out of battery, so I need to put it on charge and get the other one. So I got those beads, that one done, beads, that one done, beads, and the last one of those done, and then the uh, last of the beads. Now you can see where it needs to dry. It's kind of a white, wet colour where I've put the bell on the end. So that's what I've got to wait for to dry. So while that's drying, I'm going to go take a few minutes out of my chair and switch the batteries around on the camera and decide what I'm going to do next. Catch you in a bit. Bye! you that John managed to flood the whole flat oh I still got a dead battery I haven't switched the batteries around oops let me do that now have I actually told you that John flooded the kitchen yesterday no he did flood the kitchen why did I get the kitchen? oh that's because Kim was saying about flooding the kitchen no John didn't flood the kitchen he flooded the whole flat as in the lounge, the hallway, the bedroom, the bathroom, in fact, every blooming room, didn't uh, you, honey? Except the kitchen. Except the kitchen. The, the kitchen. I don't know why we keep saying kitchen, when the kitchen did get flooded. How did you manage to do that, honey? I don't know. We actually don't know how he did it. He had a shower and flooded the whole flat. It sounded like he was walking around in a swimming pool. It was hilariously not funny. Now I have to rewrap all his presents that were under the tree. I'm not impressed. And I really can't tell whether this camera is clean or not. There is, I've cleaned it, but there's still fingerprints. It's that bad. I really need to give it a good scrub. Anyways, I have been super duper busy since I spoke to you guys last. So, you saw me making this earlier and it is now dried. I'm going to show you it up close and then John's going to hold it up for me. So you got picture either side of this one and then picture either side of that one. Thank you for turning for me. And then picture either that side of that one. Is it going to turn? Is it going to? Yes, just. And then uh, down to the bell, which does ring. So John can hold that up for me properly. And that is what it looks like. You can't really, it's so long, you can't really get the feel for it. And obviously you put it up against the wall, it, you'd see pictures or you just let it dangle. But it's quite pretty. I likes it. I'm proud of that. I like, I, on my other ones, I haven't got so many beads, but this really brings it out, the Christmas spirit out of it. That is looking, you, you, you didn't put all the beads that I bought for you that day in here. Not quite all of them, but a lot of them, yeah. Quite a Pretty though, isn't it? It is, yeah. So what else have I been doing on my table of mess over here? I've got my whole corner in a mess again, because I'm crafting away. So I've had to sort out a whole load of beads. Um, that uh, some more came today with the card, my my um, grey board, because I need to make a wheelchair for the elf for Kim's kids. But I've also been making these. So these are protocols, as in these are me testing and playing, because what like, you see how this one just Prototype. doesn't prototypes. That's the word. This one just doesn't sit properly. Well, that's me using like an elasticated one um, string and it just doesn't sit right. And this is using a bit more of a stiffer cord and it sits a lot better and I like it. The only problem is 
if you kind of see these beads are slightly bigger than this one it's actually not too much of an issue other than it bugs me <laughs> but I'm going to be making these in lots of different colors um, to represent different conditions um, and then putting them up for sale on my eBay in January um, so yeah that's what I'm working on at the moment it's different things with my beads um, I did buy some what they call seed beads which are really 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 tiny and you came home to an angry me didn't you because of them actually at first you were angry at first you were actually fine because you were designing the pattern at that point yeah yeah okay. my design is kind of like over there don't worry it wouldn't actually be that big <laughs> 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 yeah, I think a lot of people do that. It's just that I needed it that big to see. I bet a lot, a lot, a lot of people do that. Yeah, and these are seed beads, so they're absolutely tiny, whiny, whiny, aren't they? Yep, so tiny I give up before you even touch them. But I got frustrated because I couldn't do it. Yeah. But don't mean I won't be able to do it. It just means I've got to. You gotta learn your way of doing it. Yeah. Not necessarily the right way of doing it, your way of doing it. Yeah. And again, that's everything. You gotta learn your way of doing it, not the right way. Yep. So get, I'll get there. But in between working all that out, because I'm, I'm gonna leave that till after Christmas working with the seed beads because I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they need to make a all inclusive elf. A what? It will all be explained. An all inclusive elf. Okay. The elf with all the... I, 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 yeah. I understand. It will all be explained. It will all make sense in a video that... Um, it will go up at some point. It will go up at some point, yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, that's something I need to be starting working on. So, um, yeah. I'm exhausted already. We've been watching Twilight today, haven't we? While, while mm. I've been playing with my beads and you could do a nice chicken dinner today um with well, the leftover ch well chicken dinner part two part two yeah leftover chicken for yesterday so um and we had a nice phone call with kim earlier uh william did end up in the hospital with matthew for, for like overnight. overnight yeah he had blood coming through his uh dialysis catheter which really shouldn't happen so um but now both boys are home which we are so happy about and hopefully hopefully all three kids will manage to stay home we're just thinking that maybe they were like let's just get in there get it out of the way get it done with for christmas so we can stay home for christmas that that's where i've come to the conclusion yeah, sapphire does, that does not mean you get a turn now no no sapphire doesn't mean you get a turn now no sapphire you know going to the hospital <laughs> so um yeah i got three days to try and make this all-inclusive elf do quite a few other things and try and get ready to go to where are we going? Rochdale up above yeah. Manchester yeah. so um we're talking, we're talking about there or, or, or someone else before oh that? and I've got to rewrap the presents thank you honey <laughs> At least they don't take me that long to wrap, so... Yeah, you got, you got, you got to have paper this time, now. Hmm? You, you could put different paper on this time. Shut up. No, you're having all the pink paper. <laughs> okay, I think the pink paper out of the day. So, we're going to call it a night here tonight because it is actually quite late and, um... It's late. I've just been busy, but busy doing things that I didn't have the camera at hand to record, but I've shown you what I've done, so there you go, it's just one of them things. So we will see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you for, for joining us in our crazy, crazy world. world. Bye.